Okay, here we have <laughs> my newest module. I'm going to upload to it. This is my hex clock, which also has addressable LEDs. It has a rotary encoder, and it has uh, OLED screen. Cool. Alright, so this is what it can do. It can set the clock speed with a lot of granularity. Push this button at the same time. It can change the clock speed a lot quicker. One clock uh, per minute, one BPM per click versus a tenth of a BPM per click. Now when you push the middle button to the left, you get press reset to sync triggers. Press that and all the triggers blink. And then it's starting off from there. Turn the potential uh, turn the rotary encoder the other way. You have bank one, two, three, four, five, six. There's an indication of which bank you're on, it's blue on the string of LEDs. Um, turn it to bank one, and you can make the repetition is 32, uh, 32nd note, fast triplets, 16th notes, dotted 16th notes, uh, eighth notes, dotted eighth note, quarter note, triplets, half note, slow triplet, whole note, 1.333 bars, two bars, uh, etc., up to 64 bars. I could do 128 bars, there's no real limit. Uh, it's just, okay, so then when this 64 bar, let's change that, bank one, let's do two bars. So then the uh, if you still have bank one selected, it'll stay blue. But it does get dimmer until the next blink. If you go to a different bank, then the color changes over the life cycle of the beat. If you want to go back to bank one, push this button, and it'll, sing, it'll instantly trigger this and basically reset the pattern from that moment. And of course you can do it many times. Oh yeah, you push it, it triggers. See, it just triggered, and I'll do it again. It triggers again. <sighs> Once you trigger it, this little um, graphic pops up and you can adjust. If you are doing a fast trigger that you want to be with other things and you don't get it right on the first try, you can adjust the uh, trigger point within the 24 peaks, or uh, 24, what does PPB stand for? Peaks per beat. Um, so you can be farther this way or farther that way. I haven't installed this in my synthesizer yet. I oh, also it has swing, which I have not figured out how to implement. If you have amazing, insight on how to do that, let me know. And then of course you can go to the last screen which is save. Yes, I'd like to save. And then poof, you're going to heaven because you're saved. All right, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and watch to the end of the video.